on, it's a pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. I'm Amber Mayrand. And I'm Alexis Tribuno. And this is your Daily Dose for Monday, April 24th, 2017. Seniors and juniors, a representative from Schoolcraft College will be here on Friday, April 28th, during second hour in the LMC, attend this informational meeting to hear about the great degree program School Schoolcraft has to offer. Maybe as an option for you. You must see Mrs. Z and the CRC to sign up to attend. Students, please remember, headphones and earbuds can only be worn before and after school or in the cafeteria during lunch. Any students wearing them any other time will have them confiscated. Alex Hickey reviewed the TV series Shameless. Let's see what his thoughts are. Hey there, HS. My name is Alex Hickey, and I'm coming at you guys with a review. I'm reviewing the television series Shameless. Shameless is an American comedy drama television series. It was created by Paul Abbott. Most of you who have watched it probably watched it on Netflix because Netflix would have saved you the $1.99 rather than Showtime. Shameless consists of seven seasons. I started it about four months ago, and I finished it about four months ago. Let's just say I was really intrigued, and I took a sick day to grind out a whole season. I am happy to say that Shameless is my favorite TV series I've ever watched, and I've watched a lot of TV series. Name them all, Alex. What, what was that? Oh, you guys want me to name them all? Oh, here we go. We got Breaking Bad, Stranger Things, Dexter, Orange is the New Black, The Walking Dead, The Office. A few moments later. Friends, Black Mirror, and last but not least, Pretty Little Liars. All right, so back on topic now. Shameless takes place in the ghettos of Chicago with the Gallagher family, who is a very dysfunctional family, all because of their deadbeat dad, Frank Gallagher. William H. Macy is Frank Gallagher, the father of six children. He is an alcoholic and drug addict who relies on schemes and stealing to survive. He pays little attention to his children, but can display care and concern for them if it involves money. Next up, we have Emmy Rossum as Fiona Gallagher, the eldest daughter of the Gallagher clan. She is attractive, intelligent, and had to drop everything including high school to take care of all of her younger siblings. Jeremy Allen White as Lip Gallagher, the second Gallagher child. He was a straight-A student throughout high school and uses his intelligence in various money-making schemes. Despite his above-average intelligence, he's fairly self-destructive, he steals vehicles, engages in physical assault, stalking, underage drinking, and he smokes cigarettes and marijuana. Next one up, Cameron Monaghan is Ian Gallagher, the third of the Gallagher siblings. He shares a mother with the rest of the kids, but not father. He participates in army at school, and he is gay, the fact that he withholds from some of his family. Still underage, he enlists in the army under his brother Lip's identity. At the end of season four, Ian is diagnosed with bipolar disorder, a mental illness from his mother. Emma Kenny is Debbie Gallagher, the fourth Gallagher child. She is very mature in some ways, and therefore has trouble making friends with people her own age. Debbie is also very self-conscious. In her teen years, Debbie becomes more rebellious, disrespectful, and secretive. Next up, Ethan Kutkowski as Carl Gallagher. You may know him as the hot boy on Twitter who had the good glow up. Wow. Carl's the second youngest Gallagher, and he shares a room with older brothers Lip and Ian, who try to keep their more adult interests from him. Carl is often in trouble at school for attacking other students and not obeying the rules. Brendan Sims is Liam Gallagher. Liam Gallagher is the youngest in the Gallagher family. Liam has served little purpose throughout the series due to his young age. However, he has been an important plot point in many instances. So there you have it. I definitely recommend watching this TV series. Overall, I give this show a 10 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed my review. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Alex. Gamers Club is ordering t-shirts. If anyone is interested in ordering one for themselves, they are $10. The shirts won't have 2017 printed on them, so you can wear them for multiple years to come. Please pay Miss Kirkwood and let us know what size you would like by May 2nd. The Gay Straight Alliance is meeting after school on Wednesday, April 26th in Mr. Key's room. New members are always welcome. Attention seniors, BASF's Alchemine organization is sponsoring two scholarships and only Wyandotte and Southgate students are eligible. For, inf for information on the scholarships, see Mr. Keast in his room or go to the CRC. The deadline is Friday, April 28th. Now let's go to the Humans of RHS about Elizabeth Vergona. Hey there, RHS. We took a closer look into the life of sophomore Liz Vergona, who volunteers her time at the animal shelter. But that's not all. I felt the most pride when I studied really hard for my science test and got an A. I motivate myself by trying best at everything I do. I almost lost my life when I lost my glasses and I couldn't see for a week. That is just one human of RHS. You don't know someone's story until you ask. 
Multiple students from Video Productions have entered a contest with Imagine Theatres to have their hush reel aired before the movies at Imagine Theatres. The contest also involves a cool prize for them in the media department. Right now, we need the RHS2 community to vote to help us succeed. Last day to vote is today. Go to bit.ly slash imaginetheaters.com. Student Council and Class Officer nomination forms are now available at the front desk. Seniors and juniors, a representative from Henry Ford College will be here on Friday, May 12th during fourth hour in the LMC. HFCC's programs are excellent options for RHS students, whether you plan on getting an associate's degree or if you will continue on to a bachelor's degree. Attend this meeting to see if one is right for you. You also will get answers about tuition costs, registering for classes, and other general college information. Seniors, it's not too late to register for fall classes at HFCC. This may be the right choice for you. Hey there, RHS. It's Jayla here with your daily sports report. Boys and girls rowing had a scrimmage over the weekend in Grand Rapids. More on that tomorrow. Varsity and JV girls soccer had a game last Friday against Dearborn Heights Crestwood. More on that tomorrow. Varsity and JV girls soccer play against Allen Park. Come and support your Bears. Varsity boys baseball played against Novi over the weekend. More on that tomorrow. Varsity Boys and Girls Baseball plays against Melvidale today. That's all for your sports report. Now back to the anchors. To any RHS students interested in law enforcement, the Wayne County Sheriff's Office of Recruitment will be at RHS this Thursday, April 27th during third hour in the LMC for, infor for an informational meeting. Please see Ms. Z in the LMC to sign up. You must sign up to attend. Happy birthday to the people who had birthdays over the weekend. Cody Bowser, Angel Greeno, Justin Parrish, Cami Poor, Christopher Simpson, Brianna Hilton, Sabrina Menino, Mary Smith, and Samantha Wiley. Happy birthday today to Devin and Zellick, Julian Azell, Brianna Holloway, and Haley Sands. Hey Amber. What? If I drink, I die. If I eat, I am fine. What am I? I don't know what. A fire. <laughs> Stay classy, RHS.